Okay, this is getting really bad. Um, the farther I go, the more I just disassemble it. Um, anyway, so finally back to work on it after about a week and a half. Um, between uh, some painting jobs and everything else around the house. Got a little sidetracked. But uh, what I've done um, since I think the last video. Uh, the last time I showed you, I think I had already cleaned up the, a lot of the block. Um, but it really kind of bugged me that I couldn't get... Uh, back in here where the starter was at so I went ahead and took the starter um, off and everything um, that was a little bit of a challenge um, not necessarily the easiest thing to do um, I will have to go back in and uh, retime it to some degree um, because uh, I thought I had marked it um, with the with uh, uh, with uh, just a little pointed in here, but I uh, I didn't get it marked very well. At least there's no marks on my gear that were there. So I'm gonna have to read up on that, and hopefully I don't have a gigantic struggle on my hands. Um, so that's one bad thing about doing that. Um, next thing that I've done, um, along with uh, taking the the starter off. Um, I've also uh, pulled, gone ahead and pulled the commutator off. I think that's what that is. I'll have to remember. I can never remember name all these parts. Um, and so then next I'm going to pull the armature off. Uh, I've just got to stop and get some threaded rod um, that I can use uh, to get the armature off because you see back in there the two holes um, and this is my puller that I have and so I'll have to get some threaded rod so I can get back in there and uh, pull the armature off at which point I can then um, take the whole top assembly off um, I really got to thinking about it and you know I really want to clean out the the oil sump uh, really well and then I can't get in down there and everything to paint it uh, then I can paint the fan and everything so you know it I don't need this machine, so it not really it doesn't take any of my time to. I mean, it's worth my time to just go ahead and do it right, you know. Because I every time I would work on it, like I, I got in here a little bit with the Dremel tool, you know, I was leaving little itty bits and pieces of uh, you know, just crud and everything, and I, I just really didn't like that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and you know just take the take it all apart. Um, you know, it's not it's not a machine I need, so might as well do it right. Um, plus, one of the things that really gets on me, you know, you get, you get all these shows, and you'll, and I understand why people do it, but you know, you'll come up on a tractor that, you know, clearly somebody has painted over, you know, a grease area, um, and it's flaked off or something. That just that drives me nuts. But anyway, that's kind of a personal thing there. Um, one question I did have, and I haven't seen an answer yet in the book, it's probably there somewhere. So on each of these spark plugs, well, we have zero, zero, and then we have one plus, and then we have one plus plus. Uh, if anybody wants to uh, enlighten me on the meaning of those, please feel free. Um, like I said, I haven't seen it in the book yet, but I'm sure it's in there. Um, so in addition to taking the top off, the top uh, section of the engine off, I am going to go ahead and um, I think I'm going to build a new base for it. Uh, that wood, um, it's probably, it's really, really well preserved, but, uh, it, you know, it's, I think it would detract from the machine or from the unit when I got it finished. So I might as well take time and build a new base. Uh, I haven't decided if it's going to be out of uh, poplar, oak, or pine yet. That's something that I'll decide at a later date. And I may try to reuse what's there. Um, I've I always kind of want to try my hand at uh, hand planing. I've, I've hand planed a couple times before. Um, but I think the damage down here on this end is a little too much. And so it uh, might be a really good reason for me to go to the wood store and get some stock uh, oak and see what I can come up with. Um, if not, it would just be pine um or poplar one of the two one of the three so uh that's progress so far um i think the rest of today i'm going to uh, work on um, cleaning up some of these parts um 
uh, probably that's the that's the governor mechanism there. Uh, once I get it cleaned up, I'll make a video of the governor mechanism. Uh, that way, I can kind of show that off. It's pretty cool. I mean, it, you know, it's traditional governor governor mechanism, but um, pretty cool nonetheless. Um, and then I, I actually I took a, a brass brush on my Dremel, at really slow speed to the name to the serial plate here, and I actually I think that improved it some. Um, I was really happy with the way that came out. So. Uh, you know, it's like little itty bits and bits and pieces. Um, I think that's uh, pretty much it for for right now. I'm going to go ahead and clean up a bunch of nuts and bolts. Um, you know, soak them and clean them off with brake clean, and then go ahead and run them through the the wire wheel so I can get them painted. Um, the bolts are actually coming out really well. Um, if you look, uh, here's now. Watch, I can't. They're all stuck in there now. Um, I think they're coming out really well. I'm going to have to get some medical tape or something so I can uh, uh, put them in so I don't scratch the paint. But, um, yeah, I think they're coming out really well. Um, I think it'll make it look a lot better. Um, and then I can start working on the control box uh, at some point in the near future. And then, um, kind of like I mentioned in my post yesterday, on the forum, uh, I do have um, this bolt right here, right there. I've got to drill that out, uh, do something about it so I can reattach the ground um, that I don't think needed to come off in the first place, but that's okay. Um, so that's something I have to do. Also, got to clean up that, and then I need to figure out the best way to clean up the the, the magnets there. Um, I, I think I'm just going to, I don't know, I don't want to take them all out, but you know, at the same time it needs to be painted, so I'll kind of, I'll judge that when I get there. Um, that's not high priority list first. I would love to get the engine reassembled sometime in the next, you know, week and a half, two weeks. Um, at least that's my goal. Um, and then I can start working on the generation generator portion. Um, I mean, it would be fantastic if I could have the, the engine itself reassembled in, in two weeks. Um, but yeah, so progress is coming along. It's slower than I'd like, but all projects normally are. Um, if I get a bunch of parts clean and maybe primed tonight, I'll come back and show you my progress. Uh, if not, uh, until next time.